Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Larry and I'm the creator of Tropic Tarmics. In today's video, we are talking about Higer. Higer 5-in-1 New Internal Fish Aquarium Filter HG052. So this will be the unboxing video that I'm going to do today. And I'm going to show you on how to operate this item in my fish tank. Before we proceed, if you are new to my channel, I would like to ask you if you can hit that like button, subscribe, and notification bell so you will get notified every time I upload my next video. Alright guys, so we have the user manual, we have the filter itself, um, everything is already um, set from the box and you see some uh, biomedia. I see there's some um, suction cup inside, so pretty much um, it's ready to use because you already have the, the foam or the um, filter media inside. So let's find out how to open this one. So, opening this, it's you need to pull this from there and cover. Here are the nozzle suction cups. So, let's um, put the my media. So, before um putting this into the filter container. I'm gonna wash this one to make sure it's safe for my fish. I'm gonna show you on how to use this one in my fish tank. So I'll make sure this one is rinsed before using it. So we'll get back to this one. Alright guys, so this is our clean and wash biomedia. It is now safe for our fish. So now I'm gonna remove this canister right here and I'm gonna throw that um, biomedia into this container. That's very easy guys. So it's not a rocket science. You can easily um, assemble this or you know, fresh from the box ready to be used so it says in here this piece of equipment is for this um, part right here or maybe here not sure why or how but um, that's what it shows me on the instruction um, there's a piece of equipment in here where you need to plug in the airline and use this one to adjust so it's very basic guys so the water will go inside go up and it's gonna go this way or in this direction this will be your nozzle this can be turned into you know going to the left going to the right however you want it right, guys so according to the manual we are going to use these three suction cups for the back of this uh, main water pump because keep in mind this is gonna be heavy and we want to make sure this is secured and also this can go if you know you just want water cycling or um, basically a power head this is what it looks like and this is just a chamber or a piece of equipment where you're gonna plug in the this container right here when you have the media inside the water will go inside from this going up and then it's gonna go um, blow inside the the fish tank from this all right 
it. Okay guys, so um, after putting the three suction cup into this um, water pump, we're now gonna put this suction cup to hold this um, filter canister. So basically that's what it is. Um, same thing with your huge canister filter, but this one is gonna be submerged water filter or fish tank or aquarium filter. So yeah. And of course, if you need to clean it, it's very basic. Remove that, flip this on the side. When you flip this on the side, this can be removed. Um, this is the parts that you have. So this is just a magnet that goes inside. So very simple. There's no way that you, you know, you will make mistake for doing this. And again, this can be removed this way if you wanna clean it. So all you need to do is remove the biomedia, remove the sponge and wash it. So very easy, put it back, plug it in, put it again in your fish tank. So simple, right? All right, guys. So I decided to use the fish tank for my discus grow oil tank. And as you guys can see, it's a bare bottom fish tank. Um, I feed my discus four to five times a day and I change the water daily to make sure that I can you know give them or provide them a better quality of water and that will help them to grow even quicker so for the meantime I'm gonna use this um, filter for my 20 gallon high I know this is an overkill but keep in mind I'm just gonna show you guys to use this one and later on, I'm going to decide where this filter will go permanently. Wow, so that's how it works. So, if you don't want to use the water pump because it's too much pressure for your fish, you can also use this water pump to become a power head for a different fish tank, and you can use this canister to be a filter itself for your fish tank. If you put an airline into this section right here, it will act as a regular filter for your fish tank with some biomedia. So let's see if it will suck the, the debris. There you go guys. Um, it's sucking all the debris from the bottom side going up and then it will release the air. So um, my assumption is correct. You can use this as a filter of its own and this guy right here the water pump it can be used as a power head for other fish tank that you have depending on how much water pressure that you want to be in your fish tanks right so that's a good um, experiment or observation all right guys that's about it for this video today it's a very simple video and um, like I said, this 5-in-1 um, new internal aquarium fish filter, um, this comes in a large and small. The one that I show you today is the large one. So according to this um, information on this tag, um, the filter or the, the water pump itself is um, 7 watts or it can be um, 100 gallons per hour. If you would like to know more about this item, I will put the Amazon link on my description down below. So once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate all the support and I will see you on my next video. Thank you and goodbye.